Hi and welcome to my video on introduction to the national logarithm which is called LN. LN national logarithm only is reversed. f of x equals e to the x is an exponential function which is the base is e and remember that the f of x e is 2.72 approximately to the x. So when we say e, we mean the number is 2.72. And I want to show you that, that if I go inverse ln, and that's e exponent, e to the 1, e to the 1 is 2.718281828. And it keeps going 45, 90, 45, etc. On and on and on. So, I just want to introduce it. So, we change the f of x to y. So, we have y e to the x. Again, it's still exponential, but we have x and y. So, let's do a table of values for x and y. So, x is negative uh, 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. We did this in a, one of the previous videos. So, if we take x and take e and raise it to the negative 2, we will get 0 0.14. We take e and raise it to the negative 1, we get 0 0.37. e to the 0 is 1, e to the 1 is 2.72, and e squared is 7.39. And because this is exponential, at the exponential function, domain d, is x belongs to the reals. We can use any value of x as an exponent here and everything is okay. And the range is that y is greater than zero. And the asymptote for an exponential is y equals zero. So let's look at the graph. When x is negative two, y is um, one point, negative two is here, let's say it's point one is here, x is negative one, y is decimal three seven or point four, so let's go close to the middle. When x is zero, y is one, x is zero, y is one. When x is one, y is uh, two point seven, x is one, y is there's two, so a little bit more than two and a half, or just approximating. When x is 2, y is 7.4. x is 2, y is 7.4. So let's say it's about right there, give or take. So we have this is, notice there's a growth curve because the base is, base is uh, e, which is 2.72. So it's a growth curve. So as x goes to infinity, y goes to infinity. And notice this gets smaller and smaller. The, if I went negative 3, negative 4 for e, negative 5, negative 6, it gets closer and closer, but it never touches. So, as you can see, that the asymptote is the horizontal line, because exponentials have horizontal asymptotes, and it's y equals 0. Notice that the y values are greater than 0. So, if we take the f of x equals e to the x and find its inverse, so change the f of x to a y, so y e to the x. When we graph, when we look at its inverse, we, we reflect in the line y equals x. So x is 0, y is 0, x is 1, y is 1, x is 2, y is 2, x is 3, y is 3, and so on. So what we have is, this is the line that's y equals x. So we did all this before, but I'm just reviewing. So y equals x is this. So when we reflect this curve, which is exponential, e to the x in the y equals x, then the x and the y values switch. So y becomes x and x becomes y. But this notation here is has to be notice that y is in the exponent. So to solve to, to solve it for y, we have to do the log form. So the log, the base is e. The exponent is y, 
and the number is x. So now we have a log form. So y equals log of x base e. So because that's in switched, so this y is now f to the negative 1 of x, which is its inverse. So this is exponential, e to the x. So the inverse of an exponential is a logarithm. So in a logarithm, again, we, we have an x and a y on the table. But to look at, is better when I look at this log, to look at this equation here. Because because y is in the exponent, then I put the values of y in this equation to find the x. It's much easier to do that way. So if we make y negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So what happens? We get e to the negative 2. Same as here. We get 0 0.14. e to the negative 1 is 0 0.37. e to the 0 is 1. e to to the 1 is 2.72, e squared is 7.39. So notice the table of values here, x, y. Now this is x, y, but the x's are the y's, and the y's are the x's because they're switched. So that means if we take the point x is 1.4, which is right here, y is negative 2. So that's that point right there. If x is 1.4, y is negative 1. x is 1.4, and almost in the middle, y is negative 1. When x is 1, y is 0. x is 1, y is 0. There it is there. When x is 2.7, y is 1. x is 2.7, y is 1. x is uh, 7.4, y is 2. x is 7. And a point 0.4, y is 2. So this is the graph of its inverse, f to the negative 1. And again, note that in this one, the domain are the x's, the range are the y's, and the asymptote is going to be a y. So the domain and the range, x's and y's are switched, so the domain and range is switched. So if y is greater than 0, that means x is greater than 0. If the domain is x belongs to reals, it means y belongs to the reals. If the asymptote is y equals 0, then the asymptote here, oh, little mistake, see, is x equals 0, because it switches. And besides that, the ex exponential uh, graph has a horizontal asymptote and the vertical graph got a x a, a b log log has a vertical asymptote and this one is x equals zero right here the horizontal one is right here y equals zero this one is x equals zero but in dealing with the natural logarithm the log e to the x is the natural logarithm of x. So natural logarithm is log log with a base e. So the natural logarithm has a base e. So they, or mathematicians, or change the LEG, or the log, to base E, to LN of X. So instead of calling the natural logarithm log base E to the X, they say LN X is the natural logarithm. So when you see LN, it's the natural logarithm. It's the same, and I'll keep, stop talking now. So what we have is that the log e to the base x is ln to the x. So log base e is ln. And I'll show that. That means that if we have the inverse, which is f 
to the negative 1x is equal to log e to the x. That means the f of x is your y. And we have ln log e to the x. So that means we have y equals log base e. Log base e is ln. So log base e, you hardly see it around, but I use it a lot, is n, the log n. Now notice here, here it's difficult to find the values because you got to, I, what I do is I look back at this equation here. But here, I can, because this is an ln, the log has changed, now I have the values of x that will give me the values of y. Sub in the values of x. So if I put 0 0.14 in and do ln of 0 0.14, I'll get a negative 2. If I put 0 0.37 in, I'll get negative 1. If I put 1 in, ln 1, I'll get a 0, and etc. Ln of 2.72 is 1, ln of 7.39 is 2. And I'll show you that. Let me move the page up so you can see it. So watch what happens. Here we go. So if I go ln, so it's inverse, so oh, ln, ln, inverse, sorry, I just did this and got e. I didn't want e. I just want ln, ln. So the ln of 0.14 will give me, as you can see, point a negative 1.966. And go back, and I got 37. So the ln of decimal 37, hit the button, and I'll get negative 0.1, etc. So Instead of using LOG, you will see LN. So, so really, we think of it that is hard to think about it. Y equals e to the x, y equals long x. So this is the exponential. This is its inverse, but it's in terms of long, not in terms of LOG. So it makes it easier to graph, easier to see. And again, if you take any number in terms of long, if I go and put any number in, and I'll go over, let's say I'll put um, 4.5. So what that means, if you think about it, I just did the ln of 4.5. So really, and most profs and teachers don't do this, I cheat a little bit, and I'll say to myself, I'm doing the ln of 4.5, but that's, but that's a base e. So really, e is the base. What's going to be my exponent to give me the 4.5? So this number here, which is 1.50. So if I take e and raise it to the 1.4 closely, e to the 1.4, I will get close to 4.5. And to illustrate that, I'm going to take e and raise it to, what was the number, 4.5, and see, oh, I got a 90, oh, no, take E and raise it to the 1.4, what am I, E, raise it to the 1.4 is the exponent, I keep moving this back and forth, sorry for that, so E to the 1.4, there it is. It's close to. But because I round it off, it won't give me the exact answer. It get close to. So, excuse me. So, L, the log, base E, is the same as LN. So, this is what I'm trying to convince you how to deal with LN. So, the log of LOG base E is LN. Let's continue. Let's continue explaining that. I'm doing more work on it. Oh, draw my paper down. Make sure everything is okay. Line it all up. Okay, here we go. We have it. Let's compare the log of x base e to lx. So if I have 
e to the 0 equals 1. That's the same as log base exponent number. So that's log base e is ln. So we have ln replacing log base e. We have the 1 equals 0. So again, base exponent number. There it is. So now let's do the ln of 1. The ln of 1, let's see, we get a 0. So I'm just trying to show you the conversion. So e to the 1 power is 2.7. So that means if I use log base e, the exponent is 1, and the number is 2.72. So log base e that's ln of 2.7, that's equal to 1. And again, I'm going to call back up the calculator. Here we go. I'm going to put in 2.72, and the ln of 2.72 is 1.000, so it's close to 1. And again, let's do another one. Takes, so we have log. Base e, exponent is 2, so 7.39. So e squared is 7.39. So the ln, which is log base e, so the ln of 7.39 is going to be a 2. So just to do that one, and then we'll, so we have... 7 decimal 3 9 so the ln of that gives me a 2 trying to convince hopefully everything's going okay but this video is only on taking log base e and making it an ln natural logarithm just another name so log base e is log n 9 the log of 0 0.2 base e, ln is 0 0.2. If we have the ln of 21, that's log base e 21. The ln of 0, point, or 0 decimal 67 is log base e of 0 decimal 67. So I'm stressing this because I will use this when I do some of the problems that I'm going to do. It helps me. And again, I'm taking, just making sure you understand. The exponential function is e to the x equals n. So in log form, L-O-G form, e is the base, x is the exponent, n is the number. When we go to the natural logarithm form, this is natural log. This is still log L O G base E. That's a natural logarithm. But instead of calling it L O G base E, we call it ln N equals X. So L N is the same as L O G base E. So we have uh, E squared. E squared is seven point three nine. So that's L O G base E of 7.39 equals 2. So again, base exponent number. So LOG base E is LN 7.3 gives you a 2. And E to the negative 3. Let's push the paper off. Here we go. E to the negative 3. Okay, bring that down. Don't have to go way up there. And now we go e to the negative 3. Notice this is the negative number. This is the subtraction number, just to make sure. So e to the negative 3 is 0 decimal uh, zero 4 or 0 decimal zero 5, rounded off. So that's 0 decimal zero 5. So that means log base e. Exponent is negative 3, the number is 0 0.35. So log LOG base E, 
as long of 0 0.05 equals negative 3. And again, just to show you, here we go. Bring the paper back down. Here. I have long of decimal 0 0.05. And it's you can see it's a, a negative 3. Okay, let's continue. Write in log form, which means ln form. You, so we got to be careful. So when you say uh, in logarithmic, they could sometimes you got to be careful to mean log or to mean ln. So, so we have this exponential. So that's log e, and the exponent is zero point two six, and that is 1.3. So exponentials changes is LOG form and LOG base E, that's LN 1.3 equals 0 0.26. And we have this one, E to the A equals C. So we have log LOG E, the base exponent is A, number is C. So L-O-G base E is long, long C equals A. And right in exponential form, we got a long. So a long, 59 equals uh, 4.1. So log E, 59 equals 41. So L-N is L-O-G base E. So we have base, exponent, number. And right here, I got an LN again. I got an LOG, 0 0.7 equals negative 0 0.36. So the, now we see E is the base, exponent is negative 0 0.36 equals 0 0.7. So if you take your calculator and go to the line of 59, you get 4.1. 4, 4 if you take E and raise it to the 4.1, you'll get equals 59. So again, remind you, log base E is the natural logarithm because it's the logarithm when the base is E, and that's going to be written as ln. So hopefully I explain we're going to use natural logarithms coming up and the problems we have. And again, if you like my video, click on the like button. If you're not a subscriber, you can click on the subscribe button if you wish. And visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com, to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content that's on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.